Let's practice a question on negative exponents. So looking at this first part, all that you need to do is realize that this minus 1 over here, well that minus 1 is going to be for the a and it's going to be for the b at the bottom. And so the a currently has an exponent of 1. And so we're going to multiply these two parts together. And so that's going to give us a to the power of negative 1. And then the b at the bottom is also going to be b to the power of negative 1. Now moving on to this part over here, well this b has an exponent of 1 and so we're going to multiply these two and so that's going to give us b to the power of 2 and a to the power of 2. Now what we can do is simply multiply across and across and that's just going to give us a minus 1 b2 and then at the bottom we're going to have b minus 1 and a2. Now what we do is we stick to the basics. Now, I know your teacher might say, hey, but there's that a has a minus 1, so you must take it to the bottom. You can do that. But if we stick to what we've been doing this whole time, then it makes things easier because then at least we only have a few different techniques and not all these different things we need to remember. So remember, when the, if we look at these a's, they are the same. So what does the exponent rule say? Remember when you have something like a3 over a2, what should you do with these numbers? You should minus them. And so we're going to do the same here. And so we're going to end up with a, and then we're going to have minus 1 minus 2. Now minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Then we're going to look at the b's because we've got these b's over here which are the same. And what should we do with those exponents? Well we minus them so it's always the top number first so it's going to be 2 minus and then the number at the bottom is a minus 1 so it looks like that. And so that's actually going to become 2 plus 1 which is 3 and so we end up with b to the power of 3. Then remember, we're never allowed to leave an answer with negative exponents, and so if something does have a, ne a negative exponent, you have to move it. And so we can simply move it, so b3 will stay at the top, and then the a3 will go to the bottom.